Welcome to uh, Robin Hood SA for shaving uh, uh, artisans. Oh. Robin Hood shaving artisans. And it's shorter if I just say Robin Hood SA or I just say Robin Hood. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my face today, right there. And over here, and this is healed up pretty, pretty good. Uh, when I use this thing last. So we're going to give it another shot. But today what I'm going to do is remember I bought this uh, Super Gillette 3X shaving foam here and I used a uh, cartridge razor for the for the head. And it was all right but it, if you remember it hurt when I did over on this side. So what I'm going to use today is my Phoenix Artisans accoutrement nickel plated DOC or dock razor. It's a three-piece razor, and it's like this here. Okay, just like that. I'm going to set that down. The blade I'm going to use, I've used it, I believe, once before. It's a Persona, Persona Red, which is one of my more favorite blades. So today, I decided to give it a fair shot, probably because I don't want to throw the shaving cream away. I have a problem with throwing things away. And I want to make sure that this is seated correctly. And there's a little bit of an overhang right there. I think you can see that. Or if not, you can see it on this, this side if I get my fingers out of the way. There you go. Uh, all right, so we're going to use a Persona Red in that razor. Uh, I'm not going to pre-shave or pre uh uh, soap my head. I'm just going to wash it basically. I washed it this morning, but I need to wet it again and I'm going to put this directly on the same as I did before. And how did I get my shirt on backwards? But that's okay. I've been pretty running around crazy today. All right, uh, let's get to it. Of course, I'm going to use my uh, root soap. And just to be fair, to Gillette with their shaving foam. I wanted to use it this time with a double-edged razor. And we'll see how we do. All right. And I have my trusty mirror here so I can look behind me if I have to. And let's take this off. I'm going to spray some on my hand. I'm not going to use a brush. That's about what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to put this on my head. I've been using this razor before just for my head only, shaving my head, and it does a real nice job. But I do not know how it's going to do with this, this uh, shaving cream. So we're going to find out. And that way, if it doesn't work out, you don't waste your money. So what? How did you guys have a good day today? I hope so. Uh, what I did? What did I do today? Oh wow! Look at that. Ah, okay, I uh, roasted, roasted, roasted some peppers. I uh, put in 185 pepper plants, Marconi's, Anaheim, some bell peppers last year, and I got hit with a disease that wiped about 50% of them out. So what I had to do was, uh, let's see, I've already done one harvest, and then I have to throw the plants out if they're diseased. But um, I put up about 30 jars, actually uh, 29 jars of peppers, half pints. And then uh, today I picked another, oh wow, it's hard to say. I'll probably get another 10 or 12 jars out of it. So let's see how this goes. I'm just going to go back. I use a uh, cold canning process. I do all my own canning. I roast uh, until they're brown or a little bit black on the outside of the skin in my grill outside. And then I take them out of the containers and I put them in a double gallon plastic bag and seal it up so that the moisture and the heat inside the steam actually helps to separate the uh, skins. Now tomorrow what I'll do is I'll sit and I'll peel the, the skin off the meat and put the meat in a pan and begin the, the uh, 
canning process. This isn't too bad. There's uh, the smell to this, uh, the smell, the odor, what it smells like. It's okay, typical Gillette. This is really, I love this razor for this. There was another razor that I saw the other day, Carbon, oh, I forgot what it is, but it's like oh, close to $300. And I said, gee, do I really wanna put out 300 bucks with, gee, maybe it'll shave good for the head, on the head. Not at this point, I don't. I did order a, a, fat, a fat tip, an Italian razor, the open comb. The one that's heavier, I uh, forget what they call it, piccolo, like the flute, I guess, piccolo. And I want to try that. It's aggressive razor. But I thought I'd give it a try. All right, let's do the back of the head now. It uh, rained a little bit today. I had to close the windows because all my flowers got super wet. So, so did the window sills. And I was thinking about getting some uh, white epoxy paint, sanding my window sills down, and putting the white epoxy paint on it to see if that prevent uh, damage to the wood if they happen to get wet or forget to close the uh, windows. All right, so far so good. This is what it looks like, but just you can hear me rinse it off a little bit. If this is the first time you're doing this on your head, just be real careful. Let the weight of the razor, and I think I tell, tell you to do that just about in every video. You don't have to press hard, just let the, the blade and the razor do the job. With the cartridge razors, it needs some help. Okay, I'm going to switch hands. Watch me cut myself now. Because I can't see what I'm doing. I always happen to grip my razors high for some reason. Some people don't like this. This is a short razor. The handle, I think this is like maybe three inches. And it doesn't bother me. Some people like a longer handle. They have bigger hands, but I have real small hands. All right. Time for pass number two. So far, so good. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of hair back there yet. I'd appreciate if you guys could leave me a, a comment if you're shaving your head, like I am, um, what you're using, the blade and the razor, what you had good luck with. Okay. I'm just kind of pulling it like a tractor pulls a, a disc. Any of you grow up in a farm? Remember what a disc is? I grew up in a mink ranch when I was a kid in, uh, gosh, until I was maybe 15 or 16, until I got out of high school. You know, it would help. I washed it. Uh, if, if you notice that, I don't know how many of you caught it. I just used the soap instead of the gel. <laughs> so. Let me wash it again. We'll put more gel on it. I, was, I thought it was kind of uh, draggy a little bit. You guys didn't even catch that, did you? All right, let's give it a shot. Hey, it's late in the day. I've had a very busy day today. I wanted to get those peppers. If you don't, once you pick them, you got about a day, maximum of two days, before you got to roast them or roast them. And I'll leave them overnight in those bags and let them steam. And then we'll uh, can them. Usually I get, I, uh, let's see, last year I think I got four harvests on them. This year I'll be lucky if I get two because that disease. And I don't know what it, what's causing it. Are we going to go against the grain? I did some research on it. And what I found, what was happening is the peppers were healthy one day. The next day the leaves wilted even with fruit on it, and the next day the plant was dead. It was that fast. The little bit of reading I did, research I did do on it, boy, my mouth is all tied up because I'm trying to concentrate what I'm doing here. It's some type of wilting disease virus. There's no cure for it. 
I did spray it with some uh, chemicals, but it didn't help. So obviously, the chemical I put on it to kill the bug wasn't the right one. But they say to, uh, but the only way you can do it is I'll get some plastic that painters use, big rolls of plastic, and I'm going to put it on a garden, and I have to fasten it down to the ground, clear plastic, not black, to let the sun go through. And what it does is heats the ground. Uh, Depend and depending where you live, it might go down four to six inches, heating the ground. The heat and uh, what it'll do is it'll kill the viruses. And you have to do it, leave that on there for four to, they said four to six weeks. But right now it's near the end of August here in Illinois. And I don't know if it's going to get hot enough. So once I pull everything out, I'll, I'll rake it flat and I'll put that plastic on it. And I'll leave that for next year. I won't plant anything there next year. No, it'll be easier to take care of my garden if, there's no, uh, if I don't have to plant. Let's we'll see if it goes one year with nothing on it, and then uh, we'll see how. Oh, this isn't too bad. So far, I'm surprised, I have to tell you. I'm not surprised. Not shocked. It, it, it seems like this uh, lotion is doing pretty good. I did cut myself back here a little bit. That was my fault. There's a boo-boo on my head, so it's a technical term. And I can feel it. I can feel it against the where I miss, I don't want to go over it too much. Let's feel it and see where I'm at. Man. Oh, I got a lot to do yet. Here. The other day, I put one of my white t-shirts on, you know, ones with a pocket. And I didn't think anything about it. And then somebody said, hey, uh, Bob, why do you have the pocket in the back? I put, it, I put it on the wrong way. And nobody said anything except this one guy. I'm one of these first people that could uh, wear the same thing every day. It wouldn't bother me. You know, I have a one fish. And I feed them the same stuff every day. And then they say, gee, if he does that, eat, eat that uh, fish food, why can't I... We're the same thing every day. Because I don't see the same people every day, they wouldn't know the difference. Okay, I'm going to make one more pass. Is it helping the looks of my face? Probably not. But that's okay. You'll get to that point too. I should show you a picture of what I looked like when I got out of medical school. Oh my God. What a good looking guy, he had a full head of hair. And uh, then as you get older, things kind of turn south on you and your body starts to uh, take a different avenue. And just to keep it looking halfway decent, is, it's like a full-time job. Well, it goes on easy enough without a brush, although I still like the brush. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to do another upstroke here. Very carefully. And I'm going to turn around in a minute and then you'll be able to see what I've done. This is a pretty good razor to shave with. I, I, I was impressed. It looks, uh, because it's an open comb, it looks like it's just super dangerous and it's really not it leaves a lot of soap behind from multiple passes and I like that and this is when I'm trying to get a baby baby ass baby smooth shave on my head this is usually where I'll nick myself and you could be happy with this if you got to this point right here all right a little bit on the back and then we'll wipe it off and we'll take a look and see what it looks like 
And we'll see what damage I did. Okay. I don't know why I turned my head. I could move my arm instead of my head, but did I get this? Okay, how do we do? Oh, not too bad. All right, I can buy that. All right. Let's wipe this off with cold water. Rinse it with cold water here. All right, let's just... In my eyebrows. I'm going to shave my face in a few minutes after I make sure this is done correctly. All right, let me turn around. We'll see how we do. How's that look? Did I do a good job? I don't know. Let me get my trusty mirror here and we'll see. Oh, I didn't cut myself. Good. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm, not, I'm just going to put uh, my Humphreys oil or uh, tea tree oil. My Humphreys, we'll get it right, witch hazel with tea tree oil. Oh, been one of those days. Okay. All right. All right. If you want to know what this is, I had a set of earphones today. I was doing something on the computer and I bought a new set of earphones headset and uh, it's real stiff and it would boing and it hit me and it that was two days ago and it finally came out today. It looked like I was in a fight and won or lost or something. Anyway, let me go over this again. This time I used just a Gillette with no pre-shave. Uh, this Gillette foam, which I was surprised didn't do too bad. And I used my Phoenix Artisans accoutrement three-piece uh, nickel-plated DOC. It's about $35 roughly. Very nice razor for the head. Uh, what else did I use? And the blade I used was a Persona Red. And now I'm going to put some Arco, my favorite, to replace the moisture, to make me look beautiful. Okay, Arco after shave. No, Arco uh, bomb. We'll get it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Try it. Try this razor. you I think you're gonna really like it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. All the products I talked about today will be listed uh, down below. Uh, so if you want to try them, uh, it's up to you, okay? Uh, they work for me. So anyway, have a great day, and we'll, we'll catch you in the next shave. This is Robin Hood saying adios and from Sherwood Forest. Sherwood Forest? Oh, my God. I'm really getting, I need a drink or something. Talk to you later. Bye. See you next shave. Bye.